Okay, all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, Shalom to the elect. Alright, um, basically, one to touch on the topic, you know, through the Spirit of the Lord, uh, and deal with this word tradition and um, what our tradition is, uh, first and foremost, and uh, how we're supposed to carry it out through the Spirit of the Lord, because we have examples. You know, that's the Spirit. Give me uh, uh, Romans 12. I think it's the fourth verse. Uh, you know, I want the, uh, the um, things that are written the four times written for our learning. You know, that's a good that's a good scripture. So the spirit have you, you know, you think you want to say one thing, and then you know the spirit has other things come out. You know, because this ain't this is not our uh, this is not our program. All right, you got it. You said Romans twelve. I think it's Romans twelve and four or sixteen. Try sixteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 16 and 2 maybe you know because yeah because uh, uh, tradition I'm, I'm gonna just read this real quick tradition it says uh, as you can see on here it says statement belief or practice handed down from generation to generation and when you think about the tradition of Jake you know um, uh, you know barbecues you know family reunions yeah, a bunch of bullshit, you know. But that's not really our, our our tradition. Even though you know some of those things is good, but you know, really our tradition is uh, embedded in righteousness. Our our true tradition, you know, it says uh, especially belief or practice based on Mosaic law, because that's really that's our tradition. All right, the Mosaic law, the law handed down from Mo it was handed down from Moses. You know, on the tables, it says, uh, from old French tradition, transmission, present, presentation, handing over, and directly from Latin traditionem, excuse me, nominative, uh, traditional, delivery, surrender, handing down, a giving up, noun of action from past participle, stem of tra tradere, Deliver hand down, hand over from this is where it breaks it down from trans meaning over, all right. See trans, uh, dare to give, all right. Just like when because the uh, key word in there, if you if you just use the root, the root will be trade. When you trade with somebody, it's like okay, I got one thing, you give me another. That's a, a trade, you know. You it's a trade is something when you hand over. What is, uh, is when you hand something over so the tradition is is what's been handed down to us all right now we have great examples in the scriptures the scripture you got that Romans? Yeah, uh-huh this is Romans 15 verse 4 15 for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning right the things that are written aforetime meaning in the past in the early in the earlier books in the book in the scriptures was written for our learning. So we're supposed to conduct ourselves in the manner of the men, the righteous men, you know, that conduct themselves in a righteous manner. We're supposed to mimic that. Because you got people out there, they, they think that, oh, you, you you man pleasers and all that. That's a part of our tradition. Don't you know in, in the law you had you had different different classes, different levels. You had, uh, 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 you had masters and then you had apprentices. Just like when you when you when you uh say for instance you work in a job and you, okay I worked plumbing before once upon a time I worked under master plumbers the man's title was a master plumber and basically my whole job was to mimic everything he did why because he was a master plumber he knew how to you know he knew how to plumb shit if you will you know he knew how to he knew how to he knew how to get the job done man all right now fast forwarding today. You know, you got men of the Lord from the ancient world. You got men of the Lord now. All right? Yeah. And they passed down their, the, the, the tradition that they learned from their elders. And, you know, and we got the same, we, we got the same tradition. And we, 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 we uh, uh, carry it out. Because that's our tradition. But the main thing is what? The main thing is what? What's the first two commandments? What's the, 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 the commandments that's hung highest over all the commandments? First commandment is what? Love the Most High with all thy uh, mind, body, and strength, right? What's the second commandment? Love thy neighbor as you love thyself. That's the tradition, all right? That's what's been passed down to us from our apostles and elders, man. The men of the Lord today, all right? And they're great examples of that, man, all right? 
Because uh, the scripture says what? You know, you got something to say? You gonna, precept. Go ahead. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. It says, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach and Hawashai. That's right. And the word follower goes into imitator. Because, you know, Yahawashai, he's the, he's the, we, we, like the, he's the epitome, sin master. Yeah, the epitome of righteousness. He walked in the flesh, so he was tempted as we was tempted. Right. You know, he overcame the world. Right, that's right. Because the scripture says what? That the Lord was the schoolmaster. Because what the schoolmaster, the schoolmaster is the law, and who's Yahusha is the walking law. Right. Yahusha is the schoolmaster, and it's been passed down to his men. Yeah. So we gonna conduct in the same manner, man. But hey, there's a there's a uh, 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 catch twenty two to this, so to speak. All right. Because just because you got all this knowledge, just because you got all this, you know, the Lord is giving you a great portion. I say that. That don't mean you, you walk around as you at, 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 like you the man because that's not a part of the tradition. Now let's get that. Yeah. Luke, go ahead. Or oh, Mark, Mark, right? You got Mark. Yeah, I got Mark, Mark 10 and 42. Go ahead. Uh, Mark 10 and 42. But Yahweh called them to him and, and said unto them, Ye know that, Salak it, ye know that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and their great ones. Exercise authority upon them. Right. They, see, in the heathens, they exercise authority, man. Because you got guys out there that's heads of camps, high-ranking officials in in camps, but they want to They always want to exercise authority, which is nothing wrong with that. But it's a balance, first and foremost. But that, but according to our tradition, that's not the best way to exercise your authority, so to speak. That's not the best way to. That's not the best example to give. All right. Again, going back to the examples and what our tradition is. Go ahead. Uh, verse 40, 43. But so it shall not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister. Yeah, well, whosoever shall be great among you, who the, who the top man is, the, you know, shall be a minister. What's the word minister mean? It means a servant. All right? To, to serve. Go ahead. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. Right, the chiefest meaning the top. It shall be the servant of all. Because in our tradition, the men were born. If you want to, let's, let's deal with King David. All right, let's deal with King David. King David was what? He was on the front lines. He was serving the army, man. You know, uh, you know, a good example too as well is the movie Troy. You know, the movie Troy Achilles. What was his main reason of fighting? He said, man, I'm, he wanted to be out there with his brothers, man. Just like that one big uh, guy, he was a Greek as well. Remember, he, he used to swing a sledgehammer. He didn't he didn't have a sword. But remember, when I was, they was going to, toward the beach of Troy, and Achilles got there earlier. He got there before everybody. Remember, yep, yep, yep. You know, because uh, 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 King, um, I can't think of his name. The King, he said, well, he said what, is, what does Achilles think? He's going to take the beach of Troy with one army? But, but then the other... The other guy, remember the real big dude? You mean threw the dude out the sea? Remember he started rowing? He said, Roll, Greeks are dying. Roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, he said, Roll, Greeks are dying. And he wanted, he wanted to get up there. He wanted to serve his brothers. That's, tra that's the tradition of Jake, man. Huh. You know, to serve your brothers, man. You know? Um, keep going where you at. Uh, verse 45. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Right, now that's the greatest example we have, man. Oh, uh, find that for me. I, um, great love hath no man that he laid his life down for his brother. You want to get that scripture? Because that's a service. Make your bodies what? A living sacrifice. That's the service. Remember the remember the the, the, uh, 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 the ministry of the of, of the mosaics, if you will, was what? There had to be a sacrifice done. They were the servants of the Most High, the the, the Levites, one law, lawyer, joined to me. What? So when you when you when you messed up, you sinned or whatever, you had your turtle doves. Even if you didn't sin, you wanted to make a peace offering. You know, you wanted to make an offering to the Heavenly Father. Who you, you you had to go to the servants? What did the servants do? Hey man, they got down, man. They had they, they would have to trim trim the lamb, cut the lamb up, take the organs out, burn that up. 
You know, it was a service. Yeah. You know, go ahead. John? Yeah, it's John 15, 13. Right. <laughs> it says, John 15, verse 13, Greater love have no man than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. They lay down his life for his friends or his brothers. Same thing. Friend, brother, same thing. It's synonymous. That's a service, man. You know? That's the tradition, man. That's how you know who the men of the Lord are. The ones that's really fighting for the nation. Who's really fighting for the nation? Purple Rain ain't fighting for the nation, man. You know the year of Purple Rain. You niggas ain't so a service, man. They about self glory. Exactly. Vainglory. Self glory, vainglory, same thing. Exactly. They all about themselves. Right. That's not the that's not the tradition that was laid down. Yahweh I say that. Yahweh I say uh, it's all about you. You need to, it's all about you burning up the street, burning this up. Yahweh I say that. You know, uh, get that get get that one we, we read earlier, but we're gonna bring that one out too. Luke twenty two started uh I think it was twenty four. Twenty four, go ahead. You got something real quick? Yeah, quick one. Uh huh. This is uh first Peter's five verse one. I'm gonna read a little down the Yeah, I'm gonna read down three. Uh -huh. It says, The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Hamashiach, and a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of the most high which is among you taking the oversight thereof not by constraint but willingly yeah meaning don't you yeah, yeah don't don't be trying to strong arm you know don't 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 do it don't force it pretty much don't force nothing it said willingly it has yeah. to come natural yeah go ahead um but willingly not for filthy lucre right of we, a ready mind of a ready mind meaning your own benefit your own benefit man and the more and more you, we grow in this truth, the more and more we understand it ain't about us. We're servants. To Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And how do we serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Through the brotherhood. What does the scripture say? How can you love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? You don't love the brother that's in front of you. That you have seen. That you have seen. Right. Keep going. Uh huh. It says, Neither. As being lords over the most mm -hmm. high, how about Shimei Shah's heritage? Uh -huh. But being in samples to the flock. Exact examples, examples, same thing. To male to models, man. You gotta be examples to the flock, man. The, the scripture says what? The scripture says what? Uh, um, the, the 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 shepherd he laid his life down for the sheep. Mm -hmm. The scripture says, uh, what did Yahweh Shah say, man? If one if one sheep got loose, if one sheep got loose, man. Yahweh Shah said he'd break his neck for that one sheep, man. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. I have a quick one while you're looking for it. Go ahead. This is uh, 1 John 3 and 16. Hereby perceive we that, hereby perceive we the love of the Most High, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Come on, man. That's, that's plain and simple, man. It's, it's about the brotherhood, man. The, the, the kingdom of heaven, man. Scripture, the, 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 the kingdom of heaven is the brotherhood, man. You know, this is a slice of heaven right here, man. Huh. You know, I got, uh, I got this. This is uh, uh, Luke 15. I'm starting one. Then drew near unto him, told my Yahweh Shai, all the publicans and sinners for it, for it to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you having a hundred sheep? Let me jump down. This is not the point. This is the point. Verse, uh, No, no, no. This is the point. Salaki. Verse 4. What man What man of you having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he hath found it, he left it on his shoulders rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he called together his friends and neighbors, saying, Unto them rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which which was which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. There's another point right here, verse eight. Either what woman, 
Even what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, do not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it? Mm -hmm. When she hath found it, she call of her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the piece which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of the Most High over one sinner that repented. But the point is, it's all about, you know, being a servant, you know? That's what it boiled down to, man. It's being a servant. Oh, yeah, I gotta go, I gotta go handle this, you know? But, uh, you got something? I got you. Go, go, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Luke, Luke chapter 22, verse 24. And there was also a strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. Right, talking about the apostles, the disciples, the twelve. Because they was keeping the Lord's Passover, and they were they were they were stri they was talking amongst each other. Which, which, uh, which one is the greatest? They was you know they was boasting of themselves, man. They was getting simple. Go ahead. Verse twenty five, and he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. Right, benefactor. What was that word again? Benefactor. What did it mean? Go back to. Basically going back, I know what it's going back to, it's going back to like Mark, the 10th chapter, remember it said, exercise lordship among, over them, yeah. you know? Because when you look at, when you look at the, the examples of the ancient world, uh, okay, let's look at, alright, everybody's seen the movie 300, if you didn't, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. <laughs> it's like, nah, I'm joking. But, but at the end of the day, you know, 300 is a good movie, man, it's a classic movie, I can watch that movie over and over. However, in that movie, you see... What you had King Xerxes. You had remember? He was yeah. killing his servants. Yeah. He was fucking his servants up because they wasn't executing what he wanted to execute. Remember and he he had motherfuckers laying down, they was getting down, they, he was walking on their back. Yeah, yeah. He was exercising lordship. That's how the heat was conduct. Yeah, when you go back to Troy, uh his servant what he say, what his servant say to him? He said, It's been an honor to fight fight for you, my lord. Right. You know? Right, right, right. Called it an honor. Because he, cause he he was he did right by him, you know. You talking the big dude. Yeah, so yeah, he was willing one. to die for him. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. But you talking about the big? I can't. I don't know his name. I forget his name too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but man, you talking about when he seen um uh Achilles on the beach? Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. He he said, and they said likewise, man. Exactly. And they saluted. Said likewise, man. Man, it's all good, man. Come on, <laughs> get me hyped now. You know, my spirit getting hyped, man, because you niggas, you fucking scoffers. You niggas don't know what time it is, man. Y'all can't fuck with GMS, man. It's all good, though. It's all in the spirit, man. Y'all can't fuck with us, man, because we, 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 we have a bond that can't be broken. That's right. God, fuck, boys. That's right. Real brotherhood, man. You don't know anything about that. And it's something, man, it's, it's cherishable, man. But I was going to get the, benef the word benefactor yep, from. Yep. This is uh, in um, Luke 22 and 25. The word benefactor, it says, a title of honor conferred on such as had done their country's service and upon princes equivalent to soldier, pater, and patre. Yeah, yeah, remember we was talking about that earlier. Pater, pater that's, that's the father. You know, the scripture said call no man father on earth. You know, that's, how, that's our tradition. You know, that's our thing, man. You know, you can't, we don't conduct as the heathen. The heathen conduct in that manner. You know, look, for instance, look at, look, look at America. George Bush, even Obama, whatever, whoever you want to use, these motherfuckers, they point fingers and push buttons. Mm -hmm. King David was out on the battlefield, man. You know? King Solomon was amongst the people, answering questions. That's how you know who the men of the Lord are, man. Where the fuck is Nate, man? How can I find Nate? I want to ask him some questions. <laughs> you know? Uh, Yahana, where the fuck is he at, man? It's questions that that's stirred up, man. You know, brothers need to ask. I got some questions to ask, man. You know, you got brothers out there that, that got questions to ask, man. You know, but you know who you can go. You know who you can find. You find the men of the Lord. That's right. The men of the Lord. It should be easy to find, man. How the fuck? How the fuck? How, how the Most High got men to set up? Our people in agonizing pain, man. Spiritually and mentally, starving. Our people are starving. They're thirsty. Con. So you telling me that the Most High is holding back the water? The Most High is holding back the the, the, the food, the garments? Yeah, man. He said he's going to make it rain, you know, in these times. 
Do you uh, go? And if I made a scripture say seek and you may find, you know, brothers yes. seeking and they can't find you, how are you met in the Lord? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Seeking you shall find. That's right. That's that's right, man. That's right. Because it's, it's talked about in James, man. James, we ain't got to get it, but when you read James second chapter, it says, which one of you having uh 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 having you know bread and having garments? Yeah. And one and your neighbor be dust. Matter of fact, get that. We gotta get that. We gotta get that. James second chapter started like ten. Uh, James two and ten, it said, "For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet of offend in offend one. one point, he is guilty of all." Right, keep going. For he that said, "Do not commit adultery," said also, "Do not kill." Now, if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. Right now. Go, this is what I want you to do. go to the this is the point start at 14 okay. verse 14 what doeth profit my brethren though a man shall say he have faith and have no works can faith save him if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food verse 16 and no and one of you say unto them depart in peace be ye warm and filled Notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doeth it profit? Yeah, so if you got all this knowledge, you call yourself, you the top general commander, you know, you, you fucking Morpheus. <laughs> what, well, why are you not on the front lines? Why are you not on the front lines? Oh, man. Blue, if you a man of the Lord, why the fuck you not out there, my dude? Fine. You know? Why are you not out there? Because if you coming up against men, you saying that these men is off, you going off, y'all off, y'all rapists, this, that, and the third. That must mean you the men of the Lord. Yeah. So what the fuck? Is, where's your works? Our people are destitute. They're, they're, they're naked. As the scriptures say, they're destitute of daily food. They're naked. Where the fuck you at? You a servant. You, this is the tradition. The tradition is to be a servant. Right. Keep going up. Come, verse 17 even even so faith it if it have not works is dead being alone right so you dead my man go ahead verse 18 yeah a man may say thou has faith and I have works show me thy faith without thy works and I will show thee my faith by my works plain and simple I will show thee my faith by my works uh Give me one second. Proverbs. Right. Uh, I'm going to read this. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 27. Withhold not good from them to, to whom it is due. When it is in the power of thy hand to do it. Mm. Say not unto thy neighbor, go and come again. And in the morrow I will give when thou hast it by thee. Mm. So if you got all this knowledge, you big bad, Mr. Big Bad Wolf, so to speak, you supposed to be out there dishing it out. You know? What's the point of cooking? You don't, you don't, you, everybody else hungry, you just, oh, fuck that, I'm just eating. Fuck everybody else, you know? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to just fill my belly. That's not the tradition of, it, of Israel. That's not our tradition. Precept? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. This is Matthew 25, 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in His glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall he be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as the shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. Mm -hmm. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. This is the point. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, and heard the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was and hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Yeah, the Most High is just, man. The Most High always delivers. Go ahead. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When shall when saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, 
or naked and clothed thee? Or when shall we be or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto me un, unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it to me. But yeah, that's the point. That's the point. Because look, 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 man, you got brothers out here that are men of the Lord, man. That's right. Now, if you disrespect those men, you disrespecting Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shah. Oh, okay. You, you disrespecting his ambassadors. Come. Just like, uh, 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 what was that? Uh, uh, in 300. Mm -hmm. When the ambassador came. Yeah. You know? And, 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 and touched the messenger? Yeah, 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 yeah. But when they did that, that was a declaration of war. Yeah. When they kicked Ooh. them down. So when you touch the men of the Lord, man, you you declare war on the, on, on Yahweh Shai. That's right. When you buck up to the men of the Lord, you buck up to Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> Quick precept. Uh, Hebrews thirteen, and I'll start at one. Let brotherly love continue. Verse two. Be not forgetful to in, to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. That's right. That's right, man. That you don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know who you could be around. You know? Now get, get that in Exodus. You hold us something? You got something else? I was going to get the one that say, hold on, so like it. Yeah, this is um, Psalms 105 verse 15, saying, touch mine anointed and do my prophets no, no harm. harm. That's right. Because what the brother is touch, saying, says, touch not mine touch anointed. Because not anointed. Right. Cause what the brother is saying, the traditions yeah. of a man of the Lord, That's 18. the traditions 20, of a man 20, of the Lord 20. is to feed the flock, man, not feed your own belly. That's, that's the traditions of a man of the Lord. You know? That's the traditions of real Israel. That, that's why you got what does the scripture say? Uh, um, there's a you got the you got uh, there's an Israel and then you got the Israel of the Most High. Yeah. The Israel of the Most High. That's the, that's the tradition. You know, the Israel, uh, the wicked Jake. That's not the tradition. Like mm -hmm. we gonna get that Nabal. Yeah. Nabal, he fucking worthless man. That's his, his name. He's worthless. Nabal, the, the, the at once upon a time he was the husband of of Abigail. When 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 uh, 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 King David he sent his he sent his men, you know, to go to, to go talk to Nabal because King David. But you got niggas out here that's like that. But it's all good though. It's all good. It's all good. You got it. Go ahead. Uh, Start at eighteen. Uh, Exodus twenty one and eighteen. Right. Let's see what let's see what part of that mosaic law. Go ahead. And if men strive together and one smite another with a stone or with his fist. And he died not, but keepeth his bed. If he rise again and walk abroad upon his staff, then shall he that smote him be quick. Only shall Salaki, only he shall pay for the loss of his time, and shall cause him to be thoroughly healed. Right. So if if. if if, 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 two, if you got two men, you got if you got two men that wind up fighting, and I've done this shit before, and it's all in the spirit because we Israel. <laughs> if you got two men that's fighting, you know, and, and if something happens to the man, you beat him up, you fuck him up, whatever the case is, you got to take care of him. That's the part of the tradition. That's to show you how deep the brotherhood the brotherhood was back then in the law. You know, and when it says that man, that, that man that smoke has to quit, that means he got everything. Everything that he does now has to be dedicated towards that man. Is I think it's more. It should be more, right? A little more. Uh, no, I Take care of all his payments and stuff like that. It's it's just because every, every everything everything like that that man can't work now. You got to pay his bills. Mm -hmm. You got to take care of his flock. You got to take care of his sheep. You got to take care of everything. You got to take care of his his herd. You got to take care of everything for that man. Yeah. One of the traditions was if you have a guest, you know, that comes into your house, you got to, you got to, you got to serve that man. Just like, uh, who, what was it? Was it Lot? When, when he was going to give him them, them gay, them faggots, his daughters, do, do what you will with his daughters, but touch not my guest, man. Touch not those, those, those angels, man. Those were the angels, yeah. Right. That's a good example because... Lot didn't know that he was an angel, right? But he was still conducting was in the tradition. Being a brother, yeah, he was. Being, he, that was the, that's the tradition. That's the tradition. That, that that's what was passed down to us. Now, what you got, Nabal? Yeah, I got that. Uh huh. This is uh, I'm gonna start from verse. This is First Samuel twenty-one and 
25 verse 6 Not Samuel Kings. First, no, this is first Samuel's though. With the ball. No, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay. Um. Yeah, you sure yeah, you're yeah. the right joint? Yeah, it's the right one. Uh huh. Uh, this is first Samuel's twenty-five verse six. It says, "And thus shall ye say to him that liveth in prosperity, peace be both to thee, and peace be to thine house." Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what verse you started? Six. No. Nah. Only start up. Yeah. Start. Yeah. Start at three. Start at three. Okay. This is the first 25, I mean, <laughs> first Samuel 25, verse 3. Now the name of the man was Nabal, and the name of his wife, Abigail. And she was a woman of good understanding, and a and of a beautiful countenance. But the man was churlish. He was a fool. Yeah. And evil in his doings. Yeah, go ahead. And he was of the house of Caleb. Yeah, I mean, he, he was a Judite, man. He came from that line of, from Caleb. Go ahead. It says, And David heard in the wilderness that Nabal did shear his sheep. And David sent out ten young men. And David said unto the young men, Yeah, David was probably cold. You know, so he sheared the sheep. I mean, he cut the, he cut the heads off. He probably needed a coat or something. Go ahead. And David said unto the young men, Get you up to Carmel. And go to Nabal and greet him in my name. You know? Because, <laughs> hey, even with that, what's that? The centurion, he sent the messengers, but they spoke in the first person for him. You know? So the messengers speak in first person. Yeah, just like the ambassadors. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, this verse 6, And thus shall you say to him that liveth in prosperity, be peace, both, peace be both to thee, and peace be to thine house. And peace be unto all that thou hast. Right, so David came in peace, man. He sent his messengers in peace. You know, he ain't no problems. Go ahead. And now I have heard that thou hast shearers. Sh sh she now thy shepherds, which were with us, we hurt them not. Neither was there aught missing unto them. All the while they were in Carmel. Ask thy young men, and they will show thee. Wherefore let the young men... Find favor in thine eyes, for we come in a good day. Give, I pray thee, whatsoever cometh to thine hand unto thy servants and thy son David. And when David's young men came, they spake to Nabal according to all the words in the name of David, and ceased. And Nabal answered David's servants and said, Who is David? <clears throat> right. This nigga got proud, man. Go ahead. And who is the son of Jesse? There be many servants nowadays that break away every man from his master. Shall I then take my bread and my water and my flesh that I have killed for my shares and give it unto men whom I know not whence they be? This is a nigga, man. Plain and simple. This is a nigga. I, I don't know this motherfucker. Who is this nigga? I need to give up my money and my bread. I need to work hard for this. Fucking nigga. Go. He don't know. But he don't even know. He don't even know who, who he's disrespecting. It'll get Mark 941. Uh, I'm going to read this real quick and then get that. It says, So David's young men turned their way and went again and came and told all those things. <laughs> they probably trembled when they went back. Like, oh, David, yeah, yeah, yo, this nigga was talking. You got it? Yeah. Yo, David, this nigga was talking greasy, son. No, I, I, I don't know, David. He was, you know, exactly. you know, he was too, man. You know, they were probably shook, man, when they did that. Go ahead, Mark 941. For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because ye belong to Hamashiach, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. You, that goes with uh, Matthew the 10th chapter, where it says, uh, you, you, you give water to a, a, to a prophet in the name of a prophet, you shall receive the prophet's reward. Huh. Now, because you acknowledge the man of the Lord. Yeah. That's what it boils down to. Yo, this is a man of the Lord. I got you, your brother needs water, you good. You know, this, this is a good brother right here. You know, I'm gonna take care of this brother. You you receive a reward for that. See this dumb nigga, as we see here, his name the ball means fool. Mm. You know? He's a this is a fucking fool. Huh. You know, this go ahead, Al. Con, this is verse thirteen, it says, And David said unto his men, Gird ye on every man his sword. And they girded on every man his sword, and David also girded on his sword. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, <laughs> and there went up after David about four hundred men, and two hundred abode by the stuff. But one of the young men told Abigail, Nabal's 
Nabal's wife, saying, Behold, David sent messengers out of the wilderness to salute our master, and he railed on them. Yeah, he railed, meaning he, you know, you know, you know how they say, uh, uh he spazzed on them, or yeah. how he, man, what the fuck, what the fuck is y'all, man? What the fuck out of my head? Hey, you know, you know, nah, nigga, man. Yeah. Nah, what the fuck is y'all? Get the fuck out of here, man. I work for this bread, man. This nigga ain't shit. <laughs> you know? Uh, nigga, you know, you gotta put it in perspective, yeah. man. These are niggas. You know? This is a Judite, too. You know, you know, nigga was exaggerate. You know, this is a, 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 a emotional wreck. Where the fuck, where the fuck, where the fuck this nigga, man? Yeah. Go ahead, out. And the header it says, reviled or scolded. Yeah, 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 he beat, he spazzed on him. I think he had the spirit of the nigga woman on him, man. <laughs> Plain simple. He was proud. Yeah, exactly. It's verse 15, it says, but the men were very good unto us. And like he said, ask the men, and they will tell you. Yep. It says, and we were not hurt, neither missed we anything as long as we were conversant with them when we were in the fields they were a wall unto us both by day and night all the while we were with them keeping the sheep now therefore know and consider what thou wilt do for evil is determined against our master and against all his household for he is such a son of Bilal yes son of Bilal now Bilal means worthless I'm going to yeah. pull it up in two seconds what? A son of Bilal that a man cannot speak to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this nigga, you can't tell this nigga nothing. You can't tell this nigga nothing, man. Go ahead, Op. It says, Then Abigail made haste and took 200 loaves and 200 bottles of wine and five sheep ready dressed. Yeah, she picked the little skirt up, make sure she ain't, you know, you know how women make out the dress. You know, she, she, she took a flight, man. It says she made haste. She hurried. Oh, no, no, this is man. Lord, I need it. You know? Go ahead. And five measures of parched corn, and a hundred clusters of raisins, <laughs> and two hundred cakes of figs, and laid them on asses. This woman had enough sense, man. She knew the deal was. Go ahead, out. You see how much this man had, but he was like, I ain't giving them nothing. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah. That's how niggas are. That's a nigga for you, man. Remember we talking about, about that before. Most high gives certain brothers certain portions huh. on certain things. You know, yeah. some brothers don't get certain things because it's not in your spirit. Yeah, well, some might, some men might get too much for their own destruction. Exactly, exactly. You know, it says, and she said unto her, her servants, "Go on before me. Behold, I come after you." But she told not her husband the ball. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, 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 cause she, 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 she went, she went off in righteousness. I say that. Yeah. She, you know, because, but then later on, we know in the spirit. They the one of getting her, just like Tamar went off him, cause the, uh, what did he yeah, say? Yeah, she was more yeah, righteous than not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Judah said that. Huh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Judah, the man Judah himself said that. Yep. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's the just. That's the balance. Mm -hmm. Most high is beautiful, man. It says. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, it's just. I mean, the scriptures say you know she was a woman of good understanding. Yeah, yeah, so she yeah. Was a smart woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. She knew her role, man. Yeah. That's why the Most High gave uh gave her, her man. You know? Because if he didn't do that, he would have kept the whole house like the service said. Come. It says, oh, y'all ain't got nothing? No, go ahead, bro. Okay. This is verse 20. And it was so, as she rode on the ass, that she came down by the covert of the hill. And behold, David and his men came down against her, and she met them. Now David had said, surely in vain have I kept all that this fellow hath in the wilderness. So that nothing was missed of all that pertaineth unto him. Right, right. Well, we know that's the point, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah the point, the point is proven. Huh. You see, the a, a worthless fool, because you see, as you see before you, the word uh 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 Belial, which uh you would say that Boyayo, no, no, yeah, yeah, Boyal, we say uh Balayal, Balayal. Salakia, Bala Ya Ayo, which means worthlessness. That was his God. He was this nigga's worthless. Yeah. You know? Because why? Wow, he didn't keep the he didn't keep the tradition, man. The tradition was, yo, let me look. There's a brother right here, brother probably Cole, in the wilderness. And we just sh shared these sheep, I got some bread. You know, here you go, brother. Take this, you know. As a brother, like you read that scripture earlier, you said not with constraint, but as, uh, uh, as a free mind. You know, you you should wanna you should wanna be a brother, man. Huh. You know, like David was being a brother. He, you know, he didn't know him like that. 
He took care of his men and his, st- his sheep, man. Hell yeah. Hey, but the, just to round out the story, Abigail, you know, she gave him that stuff, gave him the gift, and, and she begged, she pleaded for her husband and, her, and his household. And then David praised her for that. You know, he said, you, hey, well, great woman to understand, you kept me from, you know, revenging myself. You know, and then what? The Most High smited the ball. Yep, and then, and then Abigail wound up being uh, uh, David's uh, uh, wife. Come on. Um, only other thing you get that that woman is human. You know. Uh, Bless you. Yeah. Yep. 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 That was a good. That's a good one. Hey, man, these boys. You got. You gonna have some women that were good understanding what and they right mind. We're gonna show you what what a good woman does, man. You know, go ahead. Uh, whenever, you, whenever you got it, um, you know, because now nowadays, man, you know, okay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna get on the woman, but you know, it's spiritual because when you read, uh, real quick, I just want to bring this point out. When you read, uh, I think it's this is uh, First Peter. First Peter, when you read First Peter, uh, uh, verse chapter two, verse thirteen says, "Submit yourselves every to every ordinance and of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to king as supreme, or unto governors, or unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evil doers, and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of the Most High, that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of the foolish men." as free not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness and as servants of the most high honor all men love the brotherhood fear the most high honor the king mm. now the point I want to bring out is that it goes into you know the example of your house shy being a servant laying his life down putting away pride but verse chapter 3 verse 1 says what Likewise, likewise, ye wives, be in subject to your husbands. So the same example as a as a as a woman. How you want your woman to treat you? You supposed to treat brothers that way. That's right. That's why the scripture says what. This is Samuel. For it gotta be First Samuel. First Samuel. Yep, that's the spirit. First Samuel eighteen and one. And it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And Saul took him that day and would let him go no more home to his father's house. Then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan, sh- you want to say something? I'm just, hey, that's deep, man. That just shows that they was brothers in the spirit, man. Jonathan got to be an elect, which means, you know, he was there before. He's really of the house of David. Exactly. That's right. John, then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him and gave it to David. Because remember, because David was on a run. He, he, he had no time to grab up nothing. But Jonathan knew that Saul wanted to kill David. So, but Saul, but Jonathan being a righteous man was like, yo, man, t- yo, take what I got, man. Fuck, fuck me, pretty much. Take what I got, you know. So just to make sure his brother was good. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him and gave it to David, and his garment, even to his sword, and his bow and his girdle. That's heavy, man. Because you think about it, think about it. You give up your sword. Man, you can run into any kind of traffic, any type of kind of drama real quick. Then I ain't got my sword. I just gave it up to this brother. Jonathan, he gave up everything for David, man. Mm-hmm. Real quick, it says, into, into his bow and his girdle. That's the point. You know, Jonathan gave up everything, man. You know, for, for his brother, man. What, that's the tradition, man. With the scripture, the first scripture we read, the thing that's how we supposed to be with our brothers man you know that's being a Hebrew Israelite man that's being a brother that's right you know 
if I can say this, man, one of the things that stuck out to me is uh, when Apostle Hall, he, he said that dude who was kind of bugged out, he said, hey, man, I remember him from back in the old school. He would have gave you the shirt off his back, man. And the, and the Apostle remembered that, man. Right. Yeah. You know? That's why the scripture says what? A good name is better than precious ointment, man. Yeah. That's how you get a good name, man. Being a brother. Being a servant. That's right. You know, you want a, you want a good rep, but you, you can't lead up? Be a fucking servant. Be be a, be, be, be the lap dog, so to speak. Huh. You know, you good? You good? You good? Are you good? All right, all right. You know, it's balance. You find the balance. Right. Pray to the Lord. They ain't give you the balance. You, you good, brother? You all right? You straight? All right, cool, cool, cool. You good, brother? I'm cool. That's how your mentality should be. I ain't good unless my brother's good. Right. That's right. Straight man. up. That's the spirit. That's man. one of the things my brother used to say. Yeah. Come on. I ain't gonna eat till we all eat. Fucking man. right, man. Hey, uh, what was it? The tender, the the curse is tender. Get it, get it, get it. The Deuteronomy twenty eight fifty four. Okay. Yeah, man. You're fucking right, man. Okay, this is yeah Deuteronomy twenty eight verse fifty four. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. Right. Well, the point that we jumping on is the tender and delicate, because once upon a time a brother. He cared for his brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Like Yahweh. Like Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is the greatest example. Plain and simple. Yeah. That's the greatest example, he man. He washed his disciples' feet, man. He went, he, like he said, that's that's why I brought that scripture out. If one sheep was going, yo, fuck that. Yo, my other sheep, they good. I'm going to get that other sheep. Right. You know? Got something? Yeah. If I can say this real quick, man. Hey, that's that's what is that's why you know the brotherhood is the kingdom of heaven, man. Because that's going because hey, man, you gotta hate this. You gotta hate that you can't be brotherly with your your your, your own kin, man. Yeah, you know. But the kingdom of heaven, we gonna be we gonna love each other. That's man. why we hate the two thirds, man. Right, right. Cause we try to be brotherly with these niggas. Cause right, right. Sincerely, in our mind, we wanna be brotherly. We wanna help out Jake. We wanna tell Jake the right thing. What the fuck you think come out every week? Rain, sleep, hell, and snow for man. To tell Jake the fuck with the deal is, man. But what you got? But it's niggas, man. It's niggas, man. It's, it's niggas, niggas, Uncle fucking Tomahawks and fucking uh, uh, Theo Juan, if you if you will. Uncle Uncle Juan, you fucking you fucking spit niggas, man. That's the fucking problem, man. You know. Cause I, we will we sincerely show brothers yo yo brother you know brother coming to camp you should break bread make sure you get home Come. whatever the case is like one brother you know but that one time yeah. it was one brother was, he was coming along the camp man we let him walk man he had to fucking walk home but when he came to camp we said now nah, picking that brother up man right. that brother ain't walking no more he in the camp right but then you got you got motherfucker we being brotherly to the motherfucker. But the nigga, he, 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 this nigga's an all out nigga, man. You know, we the ones keeping the tradition, man. The elect is keeping the tradition, man. That's the that's the point at hand, man. Huh. That's the point at hand. Buzz got anything else? No. No. You good? Yep. Okay, come. With that, we want to say all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Double honor to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. You know, who who, who kept who keep the tradition, man. That's right. I fuck you, hey man. I'm be, uh, and, I, and I said I was gonna say this too through the spirit. You know, a lot of shit that we learn, a lot of tactics of being brotherly, we get from the apostles and the elders, man. That's right. You know, apostles and the elders, man. They they show how to be brotherly. So fuck you, niggas, man. Right. Straight up, nigga. Fuck you, niggas, man. Fuck you, niggas. That's uh, that's opposing this truth and this brotherhood and, and our tradition, nigga. Fuck out of here, man. If I had twelve year old daughter. I'd, Gladly give it to one of these brothers, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you niggas? I don't know, Wu Tang said that shit. My seed, what he said, uh, uh, my seed, get with his seed. That's how we keep Wu Tang money all up in the family. That's our, that's our tradition, nigga. What the fuck is, what are you talking about, nigga? And you know it's a man of the Lord, you know? All right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we <laughs> broke bread together. These, but these scoffers, they want to talk about. The, like, about men who are starting with the apostles and don't know them at all, man. Right. You don't know what they went through. Right. You know? It, it ain't nothing new under the sun. The same spirits are back, you know, and that's why we're gravitating to each other. It's all, it's all about the elect. And that's the right. two thirds will have to be taught by us in the kingdom. Well, they're they not going to get it. 
They're going to know it after death. Yeah, we, we, no, 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 we're not going to teach them, though. Scripture said we're not going to. We, no, we, yeah, they're going to get it naturally. Yeah, they're going to get the tradition not. because, it's, it, they gonna, first of all, they're going to see it, and that's going to be the right thing to do. Because huh. we know how to keep the tradition from the beginning anyway. Huh. You know? Right. That's what Scripture say, um, uh You shall not teach every man his neighbor. Small or great. Yeah, small or great. That's right. That's right. We ain't going to have to teach two-thirds because two-thirds can't get it right now. They're going to see how to do it the right way huh. in the kingdom. All right. Again, all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Glory be to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, Yahushai is worthy of praise and worship, you stupid right. nigga. You know? Hey, Amen. The, 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 the apostles and elders are wor worthy of reverence and, wor right. and worthy, worthy of double honors, stupid That's niggas. Right. That's right. Because they showed us how to do the right thing, you dumb motherfuckers. That's right. right. Stupid niggas, man. Hey, man, it's all good. It's all good. You know, it's all good. And with that, we're going to say Shalom to the elect. Shalom. Uh, Shalom, Shalom to the elect, man. Beautiful. Yeah, come. Hey, how about you? Shalom. 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 Man, fuck, man. Hey, that was. That. Hey, like you said, bring a couple scriptures and everything flow because yeah. I ain't know what to think. Let me start. Right. 